unfortunately, Chef Ronaldo couldn't be here with us this evening. But here am I, Chef Ronaldo, here on the cooking, another <laughs> cooking salad show we have this evening. Is there any replay viewers? Thanks for tuning in. And as you can see, probably the most exciting part of cooking is um, getting dressed up beforehand. So you need to pay special attention to wardrobe, hair and makeup, any other accessories. That'll make it a much more enjoyable experience. All right. Well, oh, I almost forgot. The next most important part of cooking is making sure that you have some snacks around. Now, I already snacked some because I was hungry, but I have a block of cheese here, very important. So I can just cut on that whenever I want to because, you know, I'm cooking because I want to eat. So, also, a jar of olives. Olives are a very fine cooking snack. So we'll keep those handy. Well, what I had planned for tonight, I was just gonna make a simple salad. I actually already started chopping it up a little bit, but I'm just gonna cut it up a little bit more. You know, and I just, as you can see, I don't dry the lettuce. I see no point in drying lettuce. It's just gonna, I don't know, add some moisture to the to the bowels, let it keep on going through. I think it's, it's pretty harmless. So, cut this up really good and some of you might wonder if uh, any of these vegetables are from Alaska they're not oh wait this one says Alaska grown I'm a little skeptical but I, I think I believe them it's in Palmer a warmer part of Alaska all right so I think the salad's gonna be pretty good it's gonna have some lettuce Little radishes I'm gonna dice up too. Sometimes I rinse them off, but these don't feel very dirty, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rinse them off. Just gonna cut off their little heads and tails, little umbilical cords, and their little legs. If I was feeling like it, this could also this would also be a good cooking snack. Pork to have snacks. Guys, we'll just slice up a little bit. Mm, they're very pretty. They almost look like they froze in the freezer, but I don't think they did. Doesn't really matter. Let's see. So, what do you call this salad? Well, I'm going to call this salad. It's like a regular salad, but I'm going to call it by its dressing, and, I, and that's what I am looking forward to. I'm going to make a, a dressing that I've never made before, inspired by a dressing I've been buying at the store and eating a lot of, and that's going to be a tahini-style dressing with some oil and vinegar, maybe garlic. We'll see. You know, I can move into that, cut the rest of the vegetables in a minute, so, I'm not really going to follow any sort of recipe, but there's going to be some tahini in it. It's very fresh. That's good. Let's see. Cut her open. And if you don't know what tahini is, it's kind of weird, but it's pretty good. It's a sesame, sesame seed butter. Bitter flavor goes well in hummus or salad dressing. Some people use it as a spread too, but okay. I'm just gonna put a few spoonfuls in there. Oh, no. It's gonna be a lot of yeah, a lot of tasting of the product here. So and I'm olive oil. It's gonna be the base. You know, the tahini's already pretty oily. You probably don't need a lot more oil. But I didn't think about this too much ahead of time. I'm gonna add some apple cider vinegar. That's probably plenty. 
we didn't need that much. I also wanted to add a little bit of lemon. So let's see what that does. Hmm, I wonder if it would be good with a little sugar. I have a little maple syrup. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. <laughs> I have no idea what this is really going to be like. So I'm just going to stir it up. It's kind of pretty weird looking. All the oils and the sh juice mixing together. It's hard to say, really. Hmm. Okay, well, it's got a pretty good consistency. I'm not actually quite pleased. It's a nice color too. Sure. Looks like the looks like the dressing that I. Looks good. I've been eating. Okay, let's see. This is going to be interesting. So, what are the? There were only a few ingredients in there. What were they? Tahini, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, and lemon juice. So far, it's pretty, pretty bitter. But it's kind of good. I kind of like it. I think I like it. I think I had some idea to add some spices too. Oh, great. This what do you parsley. got there? Oh, parsley. Dried parsley. Pretty good. Got it at the bulk section of our local Fred Meyer. So they sell parsley in Alaska, huh? They definitely sell parsley in Alaska. You can grow parsley in Alaska, too. It'll grow in the summertime. Yeah, yeah. Alright, that's that starting in. to look really good. Yeah, I think it's going to be, gonna be alright. about garlic. Garlic could be good. I was going to have some garlic with potatoes later, which is going to be really good. So. We'll see. Hmm. Well, How's that taste? I think it tastes pretty good. The parsley could probably use to have been rehydrated or something. So it's a little dry. All right, but so maybe I just let it sit here. Now what happens with it? What happens with the salad dressing? Yeah. Well, I, you know, I think because the parsley's kind of dry, I think I'm just going to let it sit there. And maybe the parsley will soak up some of that moisture. And I think finish the finish cutting up the vegetables and mix it all together or leave for my friends to put on the dressing. And dishes. what is it called? This is a uh, Sunday evening Alaska salad with a tahini dressing. Don't forget the olives. And perhaps Chef Ronaldo will be with us once again. We hope so. Thanks for, for tuning in. Hope you guys have a good day or evening or whatever it is.